When your AC stops working, just call the experts at KS Services Heating and Air. They're fast and affordable. Right now, purchase any Bryant Energy Efficient System and save with 0% interest for 60 months with approved credit. It comes included with a five-year labor warranty. And our fair price guarantee means that we will always give you three quotes for every situation. A good, better, and best. Call KS Services Heating and Air today. We roll on whatever it takes. Here's your Weather Extreme video for this Sunday, April 22nd. It's Earth Day. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray sitting in for Brian Peters, who is out at the Barber Motorsports Park today. The Honda Indy Grand Prix of Alabama there with Scott Martin. They'll be forecasting the weather for the big event there today at Barber. Sorry getting the video a little late to you this morning. Severe weather threat a little more pronounced than we thought. Wanted to get a post up early and uh, go into detail on the video. So uh, get ready for a lot of graphics here. Current conditions at 730 across the southeastern United States. We see our surface low there. Uh, centered over northeastern Arkansas, southern or, or northeastern in Oklahoma, southeastern Kansas, northwestern Arkansas. That low a little stronger than we anticipated, and we see a couple of wrinkles in the forecast that may lead to the potential for some brief tornadoes today over southwest south Alabama. You can see over Alabama right now, Tennessee Valley getting rain. Temperatures in the uh, middle 60s across the I-20 corridor, uh, middle to upper 60s to the south. Uh, still in the 50s uh, in northeast, uh, north Alabama, a little bit of a, an easterly wedge there. The SPC has pulled the uh, severe weather risk to the north. I think that's a little further than it probably needs to be. Uh, areas uh, really from about reform to Tuscaloosa to Clanton to Auburn, as you'll see in a moment, are where we expect the main threat of severe weather to be later today. But that marginal risk, the meaning severe storms are possible, uh, according to the SPC. Uh, as far north as Winston County, Blount County, uh, over into Calhoun County and East Alabama and points south. Now, by 9 a.m., the HRRR uh, is what we'll use mainly for our mesoscale modeling this morning, uh, showing uh, precipitation over most of Mississippi. Uh, that rain over the Tennessee Valley continuing to lift to the north. A few scattered showers elsewhere across the area. By noon, that uh, rainfall continues to increase, pushes into West Alabama areas of, uh, west of I-65 should be uh, experiencing uh, widespread rainfall by that point. As we move to 3 p.m., you can see the activity beginning to get more organized in Mississippi near a little meso low, a smaller compact low um, that we're worried about that might develop to the southeast that could enhance that low level helicity and produce the possibility of a few brief tornadoes uh, this afternoon and evening over west central and south Alabama. As you can see by 6 p.m., uh, the uh, stronger thunderstorms associated with the dynamic forcing with that meso low uh, moving into west central Alabama Pickens up maybe into Lamar Fayette northern Tuscaloosa counties we'll be watching that uh, this is going to be along a warm front that will be uh, trying to uh, nudge into the colder or cooler air the cooler and more stable air that is over north northeast Alabama thanks to a, uh, a wedge feature that is there now at 6 p.m., we see this main surface low centered over northern Mississippi, uh, somewhere east, nor east northeast of Oxford at that point, with a meso low over west central Alabama, and that's kind of what has us concerned. You can see uh, winds are going to be uh, sustained at, you know, somewhere in the uh, 15 to 25 miles an hour range, and that's why we've got a wind advisory now for northeast Alabama, especially those higher elevations could see some gusty winds uh, this afternoon and this evening. Temperatures at 6 o'clock. Uh, south of the warm front, the uh, upper 60s to near 70 degrees. To the north of that, you see we've still got 50s over northeast Alabama um, and uh, lower 60s prevalent for most of the rest of that area. Dew points along and south of the warm front may be around 65 degrees, which is usually a fairly magic number uh, for strong to severe thunderstorms in Alabama. Instability off the HRRR at 6 o'clock. Here's the Cape. Uh, showing um, surface base Cape now over basically the uh, southwestern half of Alabama with Cape values running between 500 and 1,000 joules per kilogram over a wide area of uh, south central up into west central Alabama, including Tuscaloosa County. And that's kind of what has us concerned because that is, uh, of course, uh, sufficient instability to give us uh, thunderstorm updrafts. We could see some low top supercells. Here's the 0 to 1 kilometer helicity showing the wind shear in the lowest, this is directional shear, in the lowest kilometer of the atmosphere, and that's where we look for the possibility of tornado development. And you can see those helicity numbers are high, especially 
uh, in the areas where it's coincident with the instability over west central Alabama, and that leads to the potential for tornado development. Now, the ACRR, one of the convection allowing models, shows us something called max updraft helicity, which lets us look at where uh, you know thunderstorms might form that could produce tornadoes. Now, this is not where it will happen, but it shows sort of the extent coverage and sort of where it might occur, and that uh, is sort of maxed there along that mesolow uh, Lamar Fayette counties, you know, maybe a little north of the risk area that we have painted, uh, maybe in just north of the Montgomery area. So you can see it's not going to be a widespread event. We might have one, two, or three brief spin-up tornadoes uh, later this afternoon and tonight, but it is enough of a threat for us to be concerned about. Here's the SIGTOR parameter for 6 o'clock tonight showing uh, SIGTOR values uh, 1 to 2 over west central Alabama there from Tuscaloosa County down through Bibb County uh, on into uh, parts of the southern Alabama. This would be right along that warm front as it continues to try to uh, nudge into that uh, cooler, stable air to the east. It will be a concern for us. So here's your threat. Uh, damaging winds, brief tornadoes south of a line reform in Pickens County through Tuscaloosa, Clanton, and Auburn. Areas south of that, um, the Weather Service in Birmingham, uh, you know, thinks there's a marginal risk. The SBC, as we saw, a little further to the north, and we can't rule that out. Rain and storms, though, mainly to the north of that line uh, from Tuscaloosa to Clanton to Auburn. Now, timing. Um, as you saw from the radar there, uh, simulated radars off of the H R. Uh, the activity should get cranked up by early afternoon. 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. over West Alabama. It's going to start about the same time over East Alabama, but it's going to last longer because it's going to take longer for that main activity to push east tonight of I-65. And um, uh, that means that we'll get into an early morning threat even uh, for areas uh, east of Montgomery over to Auburn. Now, heavy rainfall is possible with the system widespread two to three inch amounts uh, likely over the northern half of Alabama, a little less you get into uh, more central Alabama, but I think most folks uh, n along and north of I-20 are going to see around two inches of rain with around one to two inches to the south. That some isolated spots might see three inches. And, uh, you know, even though we had um, some fairly heavy rainfall in recent times, um, we've been dry this week and that's helped uh, lower those threshold values for flash flooding, so no flash flood watch in effect. Now, there is a wind advisor in effect for areas to the north and east of Birmingham. Winds today 15 to 25 miles an hour, averaging uh, gusting to 30 to 35 miles an hour at times. They could gust to 40 miles an hour at times over the higher elevations of northeast Alabama. So uh, the National Weather Service offices in Birmingham and Huntsville have wind advisories uh, in effect for north and northeast Alabama. Now let's quickly go through the rest of the forecast. Here's Monday at noon, the low pressure center center to the north of Alabama. Some uh, scattered showers continuing over the northern half of the state. Uh, main rain activity is pushed well to the east by that point. Um, as we move into time for Tuesday, a few scattered showers still over Alabama's uh, upper level trough remains in uh, the vicinity. And then as we head into Wednesday, you get the idea, another system moving in from the west. That means another chance of showers probably uh, late Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday evening as another trough slides by to the north. This is really going to be the week of troughs. And then by Friday, the final trough slides by. A uh, chance of showers possibly during the day on Friday. But you get the picture that it won't be uh, very heavy or very widespread during the week. And the good news is Canadian uh, uh, or Pacific air mass moving in uh, doesn't gonna, uh, you know, isn't going to change things very much in terms of temperatures across the area. So a fairly mild week. Uh, in store for Alabama. Here's the forecast for next Sunday. You get the idea of the high pressure at the surface. Centered over Alabama, the Tennessee and Ohio Valleys means a very nice weekend in charge or in store for us for next weekend, which we will take. Now, 16-day rainfall totals uh, off the GFS. We'll also take this. We don't, you know, drought is a very bad word here around the weather office. And 16-day uh, rainfall totals should be pretty decent. Areas along and west of I-59 uh, over uh, four inches, some uh, six inch amounts over northwest Alabama, with uh, two to four inch amounts to the south and east of that. And eastern Alabama really could use it because uh, the driest uh, areas of Alabama right now are to the east of I 59. So that's your Weather Extreme video for this Sunday, the 22nd. Uh, pay attention to the weather later today. Um, you keep the Alabama weather bottle closed, keep your system uh, for you know, resolving 
warnings, getting them to your uh, devices, keep your weather radios tuned up, and uh, check those later forecasts today because there are a few caveats. You know, anything that develops on the Gulf Coast could cut off the moisture, and uh, the rainfall that moves in today could, um, you know, uh, sort of squash the instability. So either of those things happen, you know, we could get through this without anything. But um, I do think we'll have a, a, a few warnings to deal with this afternoon and evening uh, across west central and south central Alabama. So be weather ready and uh, stay right here with us uh, throughout the day on the Alabama WX Weather Blog. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray saying I hope you have a great day and uh, I'll talk to you again soon. When your AC stops working, just call the experts at KS Services Heating and Air. They're fast and affordable. Right now, purchase any Bryant Energy Efficient System and save with 0% interest for 60 months with approved credit. It comes included with a five-year labor warranty. And our fair price guarantee means that we will always give you three quotes for every situation. A good, better, and best. Call KS Services Heating and Air today. We roll on whatever it takes. 